Hello my friends of No Nation and welcome back to this channel for fans of Football Club Barcelona. Today we're going to analyze a little bit more deeply the game from yesterday, the first defeat from our team at Camp Nou in La Liga. But before we start, I want to congratulate three different teams. First, Manchester City for winning the derby against Manchester United. So congratulations to our ex-coach Pep Guardiola. Second, I know there are our rivals, our enemies, our opponent, however you want to call them. But at the moment, they are the only team winning nine points out of nine. So congratulations to Real Madrid for their victory yesterday. And last but not least, Alaves for doing a great game and they deserve the victory because they fought until the last minute. Now let's talk about the game. A lot of people have been saying that the fault is for Luis Enrique because he did a big mistake changing 9 out of 11 players from the lineup. They, he only left Rakitic and Busquets and that might be a problem because Paco Alcácer, Stilesen, they have only trained two days with the team and maybe they were not ready for this game. But I don't think that's the problem because he needed to rotate because a lot of players came tired from the international game, from the FIFA break. Other of them, they, they came from an injury, so maybe they were not 100% to play. Like it's the, the example of Lionel Messi. He was sitting in the bench in the first half. So let's talk about our players. Jasper Stilesen, he got three shots and two goals. In the first one, he couldn't do anything, but in the second one, if he would have put his head a little bit stronger, the ball would have gone outside and not inside the goal but he couldn't do anything because the problems were from the centre-backs. Mascherano and Mathieu. Mascherano did the two mistakes where we got the go goals. The first one, he was too slow to stop Daverson, and the second one, he couldn't kick the ball outside the area, so Ibai Gomez used that moment to score. Then Mathieu, I know we don't like him because he's maybe getting too tired, too old, his physique is not ready for Barcelona level, but yesterday he was the best one. He scored the goal, he was helping and, and trying to correct the mistakes from Mascherano, and he was trying to help also our strikers in the corner kicks. He tried, he scored one goal, he could have scored the second one, but he shot the ball outside, up in the sky. But he tried his best, to, yesterday for me he was one of the best ones. Then on the side, Digne, he tried a little bit in the second half, but his assist never found the player that he was looking for. And then on the other side, Alex Vidal. Alex Vidal is fighting to be the right back, but with that level he will never be better than Sergi Roberto. He was lost, he couldn't find his spot in the defense, he couldn't find his spot in the attack, he was helping anyone. Then in the midfield, Busquets, his job is to create the goal chances, to move the ball and to try to get the ball back. Yesterday he couldn't get any ball back, he was maybe too sleepy, too blind to find the ball, I don't know what was wrong with him. And then Rakitic, he was trying his best, he had a chance before the first half was over, but alone you cannot do everything. Then Denis Suarez, I don't know if it was because Messi wasn't there and he couldn't find the connection, but he was a little bit lost when he got the ball, he always lost the ball and he was too slow maybe. In the attack, Neymar, maybe he used too much the leadership that he had with Brazil. Barca is more like a team, like a, they have to play together and he was trying to do his best alone and alone you can never get anything. Then Paco Alcácer, he was like a ghost in the area, he couldn't get any ball, he couldn't dribble. The, the defenders from Alaves, I have to say that the defenders from Alaves, they were like a wall, they didn't move and that's why we lost the game. Then Arda Turan, I don't know if the problem was because we changed him from sides, instead of playing in the, as a left wing, he was playing as a right wing and maybe that was the big problem, but yesterday he wasn't in the level that he was playing the last few games. Then Messi, Suarez and Iniesta came in, but it was too late to change the, the rhythm, the style and the aggressivity maybe that Barcelona was playing. They were too sleepy and it was too late to wake up. I have to say that Alaves really deserved the victory because they fought until the end. Even though when we tied the game, they didn't say like, damn, we, we got a goal now, let's see what happens. But they keep fighting, they use the counter attacks. They were faster than Marcelano and Mathieu and they got to score the second goal. Then it's true that they parked the bus in the last 10 minutes, but the rest of the game, they did it great. So what can I say? Congratulations to Alaves. They have five points out of nine, they didn't lose any games, so that means something that they are very strong this year, they are fearless, they are scared of no one, so they will try their best. Now the only thing that we can do is wake up, face up and concentrate on the next game against Celtic in the Champions League. That's just my point of view, but I would like to know yours and remember if you're not a no nationer yet, just subscribe, click in the spotlight right here below, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. I'll see you soon and remember babies, Love you all.